Hey, it's Dan here, and uh, today what I'm doing is a collaboration with about 10 other YouTubers. Um, it's cooking against cancer, and I'll have the hashtag in my title and everything. Um, this was put together by um, Never Trust a uh, Skinny Chef Shane. Um, he had lost his son to cancer, and he wanted to do something to, you know, to honor his son and everything, and you know, to let his memory live on. Um, so all of us are going to dedicate ours to someone that we've known personally that has fought cancer, whether they've won or lost. Um, I'm sure there's going to be about 10 or 12 of us that do it, fellow creators. Um, I'll leave a link to Shane's channel, and we're also going to leave a link to uh, Ronald McDonald House if you'd like to make a donation to Ronald McDonald House. Um, great organization. Shane and his family had to stay in one for quite a while while his son was uh, fighting cancer. Um, but today I'm doing mine for my mother. Um, she is a survivor. She's a breast cancer survivor. Um, but I also want to kind of do it also for my brother Jim, his father-in-law who lost his fight to cancer. You know, I love that man to death. Knew him my, almost my whole life. And then my brother Dave, he lost his mother-in-law to cancer. And his mother-in-law was one of the sweetest ladies you'd ever want to meet. So, you know, yes, I'm doing it for my mother who's a survivor, but I'm actually doing it for anybody that's ever been affected by cancer. So, let me get to my cook. Um, if you've ever watched my channel before, you know I don't do everything conventional. So, uh, s stick around. I'll show you my uh, not-so-conventional way of making uh, chicken cacciatore. All right, I got my five-quart Lodge Dutch oven. Um, it's not a camp style Dutch oven. It's a regular one you use in your house and everything. I've got it heating up. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil in the bottom. Or maybe a tiny bit more in a little bit. But that should be just fine. And then I'm going to brown my chicken up first. I took three pounds of chicken breast and I salt and peppered them. I cut them up into cubes. I'm going to get these going, and once these get browned up, I'll show you the rest of my ingredients. Man, that already smells good just putting it in. I'll be right back. Alright, I've got this chicken to where there's no pink left on the outside. It's probably only a third of the way cooked, but it's time to start adding my other ingredients. Um, you don't want to fully cook this right now. Otherwise, you'll totally dry out your chicken and it just won't be a very good dish. So the first thing I'm going to do, and like I said uh, at the beginning, if you've ever watched my um, videos, you know I do everything just a little unorthodox, you know. I try to make it easy for you if you're out at the campsite or like I'm on the houseboat tonight. Um, so I just got this frozen bag of, uh, it's the onions and the three colored peppers. And I've already let this totally thaw out. Alright, got all that in there. And then what I've got next going on, I bought me a bag of uh, sliced mushrooms. And like I said, it came from the frozen section also. Um, and I've let it thaw out. And then the third and last thing is... I got this seasoning blend and um, it already has all your celery and uh, stuff like that. I usually use this for meatloafs, but I know it's going to add a lot of extra flavor to this. So I'll get this in here. I'll get it stirred around since this just came out of the fridge, I did lose quite a bit of my uh, temperature so I'm going to turn the temperature up a little bit get this cooked down and I'll be back with you here in just a minute for the next step alright this has been simmering and everything is coming together nicely I know you all are asking how in the world I can leave all that juices in there but like I said if you watch my videos you know I'm a little unorthodox but I promise you there's a reason for all those juices in there but let's get started with the next part. I've got two cans of stewed tomatoes. Let me get both of 
these in there. I've got one little can of black olives because I love me some black olives. And then I got a jar of this, uh, uh, it's pasta sauce. It's the uh, chunky, I don't know if that'll focus or not, with the uh, garlic and onions already in it. And as you can see, there is a whole lot of liquid in here. But instead of making my rigatoni on the side, I've got a 16 ounce box and I'm going to just put a little bit of it in. I think this will take about four ounces. We'll find out together here real quick. And this is totally uncooked. It's straight out of the box. And the reason I like the rigatoni is because um, all the sauce and everything, the flavor just gets inside it really, really good. So let me get it mixed through the best I can. I think I'm going to add some more. I don't think that was quite enough. You know what the heck. I'm going to put the whole 16 ounces in here. We're going to have a good hearty meal. Try to get it covered with everything. And then uh, as soon as I get this all covered with everything, I actually got my grill itself preheating to 350 degrees. And I'm going to set this inside the grill. And uh, I'm going to bake it for approximately 35 minutes and uh, till the rigatoni's done. And it'll soak up most of this liquid in here. And then I'm going to cover the top with cheese right at the end and uh, then I'll take the lid off because uh, and then I'll melt the cheese on it and this is my version of chicken cacciatore I know it's not traditional a lot of people probably say what in the world are you doing Dan but this is the way we like it I'll be back with you here in just a few minutes alright I got everything mixed together I've got it in the grill now like I said um, it's about 350 degrees. I know I've explained this in previous videos, but how I do this is I turn the outside two burners on about medium, leave the inside two burners off so there's no direct heat underneath the pot, and it works better like your home oven doing it that way. As um, soon as this is done, I'll be back with you. I'll add the cheese, then I'll show you what it looks like with the cheese gooey. Um, if any of you have anybody that's been affected by cancer around you, Cook a meal and take it to them. I mean, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Um, like I said, we're raising money for the Ronald McDonald House. Um, there will be a link below. I know I keep repeating that, but it's a very, very uh, good cause, one that's close to my heart also. Um, if you like the videos that I'm doing, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, um, hit the notification bell, and that way you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Um, do the hashtag. Enter it in the search, the hashtag um, cooking against cancer. You'll see everybody else that is doing this same cook. It, their recipes and stuff, some of them are actually cooking with the people that are going through the cancer and everything. Um, and then subscribe to their channels. Um, YouTube's a beautiful community. We help people out. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this. I'll be back in about 35 minutes. Alright, this has been going for about 40 minutes actually and the noodles finally got done. I checked it after 25. Um, smells amazing. So what I'm going to use next is uh, I got this Italian style cheese and uh, we're just going to cover the top with this. This is uh, 8 ounces and we're going to use the whole 8 ounces. we'll get everything spread out nice and good I'm 
pull a little bit of that back off the side so I don't have that much cleanup. And then I'm going to leave the lid off. Uh, while I was cooking it before, I had the lid on, and uh, I believe that just helps the noodles get done quicker and everything. I'm going to leave the uh, lid off now for that cheese to melt through. Um, I'm going to say 10 minutes, maybe 15 tops, and this dish will be done. I'll be back with you as soon as everything's melted together real good. All right, this has been on for about 15 minutes, and uh, believe it or not, it swallowed up that half pound of cheese. But man, it is smelling amazing, looks delicious. Um, very simple to do. You can do it over a campfire, you can do it on a grill like I did. Um, I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit and then I'll be back for my taste test. Um, I really hope y'all enjoyed my video. Um, get outside, get to cooking. Very simple recipes. Uh, watch some of my other videos and everything. I'll show you the most simplest ways to make a very good hearty meal outdoors All right guys, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's still smoking But I can't wait any longer to take a test of this The noodles are perfectly done or the pasta Wow very good. Let me take a bite of this chicken real quick. Mmm. Chicken soaked up all the flavors from everything else. Very delicious. Remember, go check out all the other channels that are doing this. It's cooking against uh, cancer. Enter that hashtag, support all the other channels, and remember, if, you, if you're able to, I'll have a link down there so you can uh, donate to Ronald McDonald House. Well, you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you later this week.